Hello Virgo, how are you guys doing? So to get straight into your reading, uh, in your pre-shuffle, you guys have the tenderness card that came out for you. So this says, I'm both gentle and powerful. They can exist at the same time. Maybe you felt like your kindness has been taken a bit as a weakness lately, or maybe you've been questioning whether you should be more harsh or whatever. Um, there's kind of saying that you can be both gentle and powerful at the same time, even through your own tenderness. So let's see how this comes up during your reading, my angels. Let's dive into the rest of your cards my lovely Virgos. make sure you guys like and subscribe also if you enjoy these readings i'd love to have you guys here and it really does help the channel out as well but anyway let's see for my Virgo, my Virgos out there what other energies are coming up for them this week so you have the imagine card coming through which is all about entering a new chapter of your life which is nice it's my level up card as well let's see some more for you you're entering a new chapter of your life okay you're elevating to a new chapter of your life so this is a really good time to think big okay the imagine card is about using your imagination right not to play small to visualize to bring to life you have angel of balance coming through as well so making sure that you have a nice equal give and take in your life as well which is interesting so uh, i feel like gentle and powerful is also about balancing both energies so you can be both powerful and place boundaries and, and strong boundaries yet also be a still a kind person at heart i wonder if there's any guilt attached to to something here to being powerful interesting anyway uh i'll show you the imagine card for you guys so it kind of looks like you're being brought to a new chapter i always see you rising up it's the energy i always get with this and it almost looks like a dream world so again i want to emphasize that visualizing at this time for you Virgo, looks really good like it feels like you're entering the dream world or maybe there's something about your dreams that's important around this time so maybe pay attention to them um see how uh, they might be reflecting something in your subconscious mind that might need your attention or maybe prophecies whatever it is to you what else make it a dream world or you're entering your dream world that's it your dream world <laughs> okay anyways and you have angel of balance which is just all about bringing balance into your life so let's dive in a little bit more for my virgos out there so you're kind of creating a world around you that you dream of that's basically what i'm saying with that all right, let's see. For the Virgos out there, what else is going on aside from this beautiful level up? Glow up, level up. Let's get two more. Thank you. We have insecurity coming through, and I did feel like there was some guilt or shame that was coming through. You have a bit of confusion, which looks a little bit like those clouds over there, and mysticism, which is all about trusting in your intuition, your inner guidance, and also can come through when there is an unexpected visitor. So maybe a message from somebody this week could come up, uh, and it's here for a reason. It can also, again, be in your dream world as well. So pay attention to the people that show up in your dream. It's here for a reason. So you have confusion coming through because it's kind of relating to the clouds that are in this card i want to say that maybe this is about needing to get a little bit clearer on your goals or to deal with some sort of uh, inner conflict that you might have around what it is that's going on in your goal life insecurities as well probably around your tenderness people may have taken your kindness as a weakness in the past maybe you felt weak because of your gentleness or that maybe you should be more fierce in your life balance that's why angel of balance is here i believe let's see what else before we dive into our tarot let's see what else is going on for you virgos this week trust interesting how it came up like that okay this says don't worry everything is unfolding perfectly the universe is taking care of it let's see what else master manifester i freaking love that for you guys congratulations you made it everything is possible always know that you can the way that that came out was weird and feel free to be free free yourself and let go it's coming up underneath insecurity which is super interesting and it says free yourself and let go you can be who you want to be express yourself so some of you are free yeah look you have a big heart just like that person does um here and this kind of makes sense with what we were saying about feelings of um shame or um guilt around your heart especially when you're protecting it um, because this devil energy kind of represents fears or maybe negative people around you. You're fearful of opening up or being this tender version of yourself or being vulnerable or gentle because you're worried about needing to put your guard up. Or maybe there are some insecurities around your identity. Identity. This is a base chakra card, which is all about your identity. So let's 
let's dive in a little bit deeper. They're calling for you to free yourself from any of these fears, okay? Alrighty. Let's see, for my lovely Virgos, let's dive into the tarot. Tarot for you guys. If I can grab the deck, apologies. Right, for Virgos, please, let's get an overall energy for this week. How will this week be? The Seven of Pentacles. So it's a little bit of like feeling like you're waiting for something to change. Um, which is an interesting way of reading that card, to be honest. But I only say that because what you're working on currently still needs a little bit more time. Just like when we water our flowers and our plants, right? We don't always see results straight away. It takes some time. So Seven of Pentacles is about, this is not a good time to give up, but it might be a good time to maybe change how we're doing things if we're not seeing results to adapt to certain things. But let's clarify it. And also to stay a bit patient with yourself here. This is, could be where the confusion is because they both look like they've got their arms crossed and even so does the insecurity card. So I wonder if that means something here. Seven of Pentacles for Virgo. Why is this here in the overall energy for this week? King of Pentacles and the King of Wands and the Sun. I'm seeing a collaboration coming up for some of you guys that can be really, really good in terms of your finances. Okay. I don't know why, because like, the King of Pentacles is a court card. So of course it can be you, Virgo. You are an earth sign. So, um... And you've got Master Manifester coming through here. So it feels like you are showing up as the best version of yourself or you're being called to this week. What am I seeing? Sorry, like I'm a visual uh, visual reader. So that's what I'm feeling. I feel like um, entering your dream world. They're reminding me of the Imagine card over here as well. It's almost like become that person today. You don't need to have an abundance to be an abundant person because that comes from within, right? Because I feel like King of Pentacles, the Sun, and the King of Wands, I feel like someone's going to help you with an idea or you're tapping into both of these energies inside, being super, yeah, your ability to adapt. Like I said with the Seven of Pentacles, if something's not working out properly, it does feel like some of you might invest some time or energy or maybe even resources towards um, kind of fixing something that's not showing a lot of result. It does feel like it might be towards a certain goal of yours. Again, speaking so ambiguously here because I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's like, don't give up. Up. perseverance is key here with that lion um but the, the king of pentacles here as well is almost like maybe there are two people that you're going to speak to this week that might help you with a plan or stepping into the king of pentacles being grounded being strong with your decision making around money resources your time your energy maybe knowledge building on your, your knowledge and the king of wands which is all about being able to adapt and being more confident and being more ambitious with what it is that you're working on and the sun by the way right in the middle of that is absolutely happiness coming through for you guys as well setting your heart free all right being achieving the things you want and desire is about happiness okay and success and freedom so that being your overall energy for this week is quite interesting so again whether you meet up with somebody around this time or have some sort of communication with somebody here who helps you get more clearer on a dream or a goal or whether it's a meeting with yourself <laughs> where you're turning up as this uh, way of being, it kind of changes something here. Right, let's see, what's what's in the energy of Virgo? Virgo's energy this week. All right, Virgos, what are you guys going through? Feeling a little bit miserable? Five of Cups is only showing up here because it feels like you guys might be focusing a little bit more on the fact that some things are causing some confusion in your life. Five of Cups, she's looking at things that I've already spilt. So whether this is past events or you're facing some kind of disappointment this week, your energy is in a little bit more of an emotional one, okay? Focusing on things that are outside of your control here, all right? Some things that other people did, it's other people's fault, whatever it is, whatever, however these cups built, doesn't matter anymore. What matters the most is that we go, okay, how can we deal with this? We're not going to sit in this misery. We're going to find a way to look at the silver lining of something because something has caused confusion. Maybe a plan backfires or a step that you thought you needed to go down towards a goal didn't work out. So it's like you're facing some confusion, but don't dwell in that. Okay, really important to keep your eyes open and, and again, adapt. But let's see what else is going on with that energy. Let's clarify why you're feeling disappointed. For the Virgos, please, Spirit, why is the Five of Cups here in Virgo's energy? The Five of Cups, my goodness. So Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and Seven of Wands. So you could be facing some challenges with your beliefs because the Hierophant can be about your beliefs here. 
okay it could be about your spirituality or yeah your beliefs in general it can also be about your relationships okay maybe some of you are feeling like you want one or maybe you feel like a current relationship there's some challenges here five of pentacles is a feeling of lack and scarcity mindset okay um it's kind of living in fear is what they're trying to show me with the hierophant because whenever the hierophant comes in they always remind me that this is all about faith um and with that seven of uh, wands as well, it's almost like they're giving you advice here because something may be feeling like a loss. I don't know if it's a past situation that you're reflecting on or whether it's something that's happened recently. Um, and this is where they're saying angel of balance is needed here because sure, there is something that's definitely caused some change or maybe now you have to change something because of some disappointment or a lack, financial lack or an unexpected you know, financial um loss or setback in some way or five of pentacles it's feeling like a loss i always represent like represent it as a hole in your life feels like something is left a hole in your life but the hierophant being here is about having faith faith so strong that regardless of what life is throwing at you you have like unshakable determination okay and inner peace knowing that okay everything is going to work out why because you're working on it <laughs> you're working towards it so for some of you, it's about building stronger faith at the moment this week. Okay, it can be important. So things don't pop your bubble so easily. And maybe something has popped your bubble this week. I wonder what it is. Insecurity. Something popped your bubble. Remember there's trust here as well. Right, let's see. What's the challenge or obstacle for Virgo this week? Look at that. Nine of Wands and the Eight of... This is work. <laughs> this is work related. Maybe it's your ambition. Maybe you feel like you should be more hardworking. Or maybe there is something that you're working on at the moment here. Your challenge or obstacle really is about kind of keeping up with this energy. I'm going to clarify it for you though. Nine of Wands. This is beautiful though. I don't know if this is an energy they're wanting you to step into. And that's why it's a challenge or a blockage. It's really exploration and experimentation. It's really about putting work towards something. I'm seeing a lot of like um busy times like this feels very busy it feels like a, at home and then once you finish with your work here it's like going out somewhere else to kind of expand on your knowledge maybe it's like balancing two jobs or whether it's like balancing your work life and your social life or whether it's balancing your nine to five and then you're also like other projects like it feels like um i'm seeing this uh eight of pentacles this person here is like trying to finish up with what they have to do during the day to make money maybe even and then the knight of wands is more of like learning something new or going into some new experience like meeting up with friends or whatever like i don't know it's interesting so your challenge could be about dealing with that but it can also be about growing what it is that you have currently like expanding your life now you have the imagine card here so you are expanding your life regardless okay but of course angel of balance coming through as well again as i'm looking at this is really about understanding that it's about working hard and playing hard too that balance is also needed okay um to have fun let your hair down the night of wands is super like a party animal to me i'm not saying to become a party animal but it's like you know so carefree you know it's just about your fun and your happiness and your heart where your heart's calling for you to go it's so so important to listen to the only thing that would block that is, again, the insecurity and worry about what other people think. But that's not really. What's interesting is like both of these got their arms crossed and it's like this little thing that seems to be whispering to them. So I wonder if you're worried about what people are saying about you or whatever. But anyway, this is your challenge. So um, let's see. Let's clarify this for you guys. Why is the Knight of Wands here to challenge or block it position? blockage position the nine of cups so it's wish fulfillment it feels like this is an energy you want to step into okay and the eight of pentacles uh four of wands so there's a lot of success coming through now these are great cards and whenever there are great cards in a challenge position it just is it's like a to keep up with it or you know yeah it just doesn't feel much of a challenge it feels like maybe keeping up with it is the challenge but the nine of cups and the knight of wands beautiful energy for going out there and doing all the things that you want to do things that make your heart free they set your heart free as well like it's wish fulfillment so a lot of you will be chasing a lot of new goals things that make you happy all right not just other people um the nine of cups i always have to emphasize it's not about other people's happiness it's about your happiness it's about being selfish okay um from time to time and if that word triggers anybody then it's a really good time to think about what is your relationship to giving to yourself because being selfish is is fine putting yourself first is not a bad thing um, but the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Nine of Cups, 
feel like you guys are really wanting to learn new things. So set yourself free. Make sure that you're going after it and not caring about what people think. Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. Your challenge right now is probably to do with some sort of financial goal um, and some sort of work-related goal or something to do with building your skills and talents and abilities. You are going to get it. <laughs> okay, you are going to get it. But it's a challenge position. So it, it does require a lot of work and a lot of effort. So that's all that I'm seeing here. The Four of Wands as well is also about social events. So maybe this could be important for you guys around this time to make sure that you're attending and having fun at the same time that you're working. Okay, trying to find a balance between both of them. Okay, let's see what else is going on for the Virgos. Let's see what's going on in your external world. For Virgos, the sun... So a lot of happiness going on around you. I love this energy. Let's clarify it very quickly. But the sun is all about happiness. It's the best card in the deck. All right. It's about being childlike. It's about being free. Um, success, joy, victory. Let's see. The sun card in the external world for Virgo. Why is this here? Okay. We have eight of cups. So it feels like you're being set free from a lot of things. Okay, absolutely. The high, high Priestess, Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Ooh, so for some of you, it does feel like you're going to get a very intuitive download or something is just really going to ring true to you this week by listening to your intuition. Um, something that might be causing some confusion because the Page of Cups represents like an emotional message. So for some of you, you could be receiving a message here, uh, maybe from a situation that did leave you confused. Um it's going to come as a surprise. It feels like it's a surprise, but although deep down you knew it was going to come with the High Priestess. And the Eight of Cups being here is giving you a chance to fully walk away from something and leave something behind. You know, it's about things that don't fulfill you anymore or things that are not fulfilling at all emotionally for you. So maybe you guys are figuring out an answer of something that's brought you some confusion emotionally. Why have I been feeling this way? Or... Or maybe you guys are just recognizing that this state is just not helpful for you. And that understanding might help you to go, I don't need to know the answers right now. You know, it could be confusion itself <laughs> that you're going, you know what? I'm just going to follow my gut. I don't need to know all the answers. I'm just going to go with where my intuition is guiding me. And if it's not guiding me anywhere just now, then I'll wait until it does. You know, like you're trusting in yourself a lot more. And trust is a key word here. So that's what it feels like. You're really deepening your connection with the universe, which makes sense with mysticism here. And if anything causes confusion, you're really just going to walk away from it and allow itself to make itself known to you if it needs to. Like you're really just not wasting your time anymore is what it feels like. So you can have happiness like the sun is here. Trusting in where it's guiding you. All right. Facing more optimistic things. OK, so which is good because it means that you're not doing this anymore. All right. You're finding a way to kind of protect your inner peace with faith a lot of it is with faith and trust it's coming up a lot <laughs> for you guys so let's dive into where um what's going on in your inner world for virgos the ace of wands so you have a new idea a new passion coming through it looks really nice uh this can also be moving but because this is in your inner world a lot of you are finding new ambition okay which is great there is a glow up there is a leveling up going on with that imagine card being in your reading so the ace of wands is like a new passionate beginning OK, um, again, it's great for career ideas or just something that just comes into mind that goes, OK, this is the next step that I'm going to take. It's a new step. It's a new beginning. It's an ace. So it's definitely like a, the start of something. Let's see what this is. Could be something that you're manifesting here in the inner world of Virgo. Why is the ace of wands here? The two of swords, again, taking uh, intuitive action is what it feels like. You're making a decision on an idea with your inner guidance two of swords um comes in when a decision needs to be made about something so this ace of wands is an idea but of course you have to take action on it maybe you have to let something go in order to take this thing or let's see it's two of swords ace of wands in the inner world of virgo the six of pentacles again about balance here it feels like it's about investing in something again whether it's your time and energy the six of pentacles always reminds me of the sixth house in astrology about your day-to-day -day life so it's always like your routines and stuff like that so you may have an idea but there's kind of saying don't just sit on the idea you have to take action towards it like you have to kind of bring this thing to life through action and momentum okay so two of swords is making that decision. Six of pentacles about giving your time and energy to something and paying attention to what you're giving your time and energy to as well. Let's see. But it's like, it's, it's about trusting in your intuition. Let's see why 
Let's get one more for this. Six pentacles can also be good for something actually giving back to you as well, by the way. Uh, for Virgos, the inner world of Virgos. The fool. So yeah, it's about taking a leap of faith, starting a new journey, wiping the slate clean, going all in to something. You guys are being called to go all in to an idea that you have, a new passion that you have, whatever it is. Yeah, to, to do with your future, the two of wands. Yeah interesting all right well then let's dive in and get you some like um advice from spirit as well for this week for the vagos out there the five of one this is not a time to engage in anything that creates conflict the queen of pentacles being on the bottom of the deck as we're speaking about this is really kind of like symbolic for the fact that they're wanting you to be grounded and stable like this is you in your purest form Virgo being abundant having that luxury having the uh, foundations built you know um, having a life of luxury if that's what you want like she has all her material needs met why because she built it she built it herself all right um so yeah because with the five of wands being here and the f queen of pentacles is a queen the five of wands always comes in as like pages it's like immature people kind of fighting so for some of you the message i would say here is almost like don't we had this in your last reading last time where it's like don't kind of uh, come off your throne to entertain anything that's just like kind of below you in a sense like it's on a lower frequency lower vibe um it also kind of represents your own inner world too like don't engage in conflicting or confusing ideas like we said earlier there is this emphasis on making sure that you walk away from things that are confusing and just you're kind of draining yeah draining you know those things that you think about and it's like you can think about it endlessly and there will never be a new conclusion to it you know and it's like it's just bringing you down or it's bringing up these feelings or confusion and it's just kind of putting you in a weird state i would say anything like that this is a time to stay clear from it so that you can be grounded so focus on things that make you feel grounded um let's clarify it of course but five of wands in your advice avoid any kind of um round and round um conflict with yourself or with others at this time and avoid immaturity avoid anything that's ungrounded All right five of wands why is this here and advice for virgo four of pentacles like protect your peace protect your energy king of cups interesting it's like protecting your heart for some of you two of cups is like a relationship and the king of cups is also a love and trust too for some so why would this maybe you guys maybe there's conflict going on about your relationship whoever knows the five of wands Maybe some immaturity like the king of cups is about you being like emotionally stable right so it's like you don't need to entertain this it doesn't trigger you anymore or working on it so it doesn't trigger you anymore protecting your inner peace again your inner resources your energy super important so you can align with maybe your higher self that can be what it's about maybe it's about focusing on a connection with somebody at the moment maybe it's insecurity in a relationship like don't give these thoughts or the, these insecurities the time of day like process where they're coming from of course but don't give anything to it like four of pentacles is like don't give anything to it you can see here she's really like protecting her purse here which represents her resources okay so it's like um yeah don't give anything into that stuff <laughs> whatever that is i'm just gonna get one more for it it can also be about your financial uh, situation too. Like for some of you, it really does feel like some of you need to not give in to, again, like immature ways of spending or things that are just frivolous. And yeah, the five of wands. Let's see, one more for the five of wands. Why is this advice for the Virgos? The four of pentacles came out again. So again, protecting your peace, not engaging in drama, conflict. Why is the five of wands here? The lovers, choices. The Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So this just really feels about making like correct, like say correct, no right or wrong answer in life, but making the right choices that are aligned to um, your future, the things that you want. Because the Two of Wands, again, is like the Imagine card, looking into your future and thinking about what it is that you want and desire, okay? And, and thinking big, great time to visualize. The Knight of Pentacles, again, is also about slow and steady in, like steps to get there. So again, the, the lovers being about choices, you kind of being called to t come away from those bad habits or the again round and round thinking things that just have no conclusion or don't go anywhere and start focusing on energy that does go somewhere things that do move you forward so again good time for good habits good time for just really focusing on where your energy is going um, and if there is any conflict coming up for some of you i am seeing that with that it's like protect your inner peace protect your energy like don't give in to this 
um, that energy like to focus on your relationship with the lovers or to focus on where you're going and your choices moving forward okay because that five of wands is there i'm both gentle and powerful maybe protecting your inner peace and not you know i don't know i wonder if that's something that makes you feel powerless but it's like this is not even like this don't don't engage in the five of wands any conflict or just doesn't feel necessary is there anything else i want to clarify in here master manifester i feel like this is all to do with this energy like a lot of you go towards what is already clear to you the rest will make itself clear trust in your inner guidance absolutely to guide you towards the sun in your external world um so we get some for the tenderness card why is tenderness here page of wands they want you to be more playful all right the page of wands is like a very childlike energy about being flirtatious and fun and charismatic and i would say it's also a very gentle energy it's a page so maybe for some of you it's about letting your inner child free being more creative and understanding the power in that okay um it's not super fierce which is what i was saying but it is super creative and fun um confusion i think i already spoke about that what about uh, insecurity the wheel of fortune so that represents th something that's changing the star is something that you're healing so okay you're healing your insecurities that's great um what else the imagine card the three of swords so some of you guys are moving away from i think that was the seven of swords here it was some of you are moving away from high campaign from things like betrayal again that's also an area of where you're connecting to your dreams getting over heartache and pain um so that you can move towards clarity clear vision and all the things that you desire with the wish fulfillment card okay so that's what i have for you guys my angels so i wish you guys all the best thank you so much for being here with me i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one